Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I'm Dr. Pallavi Gogoi of Krishnakanta Handik Sudhapan University. Today I shall take up Unit 11 titled Remedial Grammar, where we shall discuss on the topic emphasis. The course is entitled Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. First I shall begin with a table of contents where we shall discuss the learning objectives, emphasis, questions to check your progress and the references. So this is the layout. To begin with the learning objectives, after going through this video, the learner will be able to define the term emphasis with relevant examples. The learner will also be able to learn how to lay emphasis instead of using plain assertive sentences. Define pseudo clef sentences with relevant examples and also learn the use of what clause in sentences with examples. Emphasis. There may be certain situations when our normal assertive sentence structures require modification for the sake of emphasis. In this particular unit, we shall discuss how modification takes place. Let us begin by giving a brief description of what constitutes emphasis. Emphasis refers to the special force given to certain words, ideas or details in speaking or writing to show that they are important. Let us take a sentence. Anita borrowed the book from her teacher. The sentence is a plain assertive sentence providing a piece of information that Anita had borrowed a book from her teacher. Now let us suppose you want to contradict the information that Anita did not borrow any book from the teacher but Rita had borrowed the book from her teacher by making this statement. Rita borrowed the book from her teacher. Like the earlier sentence, this is also a plain assertive sentence providing a different piece of information that Rita had borrowed the book from the teacher. The sentence lacks force or rather the factor of emphasis is missing. You want to lay more emphasis in your statement by contradicting the earlier statement about Anita. Here's an example. It was Rita that borrowed the book from her teacher. Or, it was Rita that borrowed the book from her teacher, not Anita. Both these sentences are more emphatic than the earlier sentence. Rita borrowed the book from her teacher. What we did was to rephrase the assertive sentence by using the it clause with a form of the be verb. The two emphatic sentences are referred to as clef sentences. The sentences about Rita, as we had discussed in the example. So we shall grapple with the structure of the clef sentences next. Emphasis with pseudo clef sentence. Apart from the it clause in clef sentences, there are other ways of emphasizing a sentence. The use of what clause at the beginning is another way of emphasizing certain information in a sentence. To provide you with an example, I need a good holiday in Goa. We shall use a what clause followed by a form of the verb be. Sentences with this pattern are another form of clef sentences. In English, a sentence with a what clause, example, what I want, a subject or complement is known as pseudo clef sentence. Let us rephrase the sentence with a what clause and form a pseudo clef sentence. What I need is a good holiday in Goa. In this sentence, the what clause is the subject of the sentence. We can rephrase the sentence by making the what clause the complement of the sentence. A good holiday in Goa is what I need. The information that we want to emphasize is outside the what clause. We often use the what clause when we introduce a new topic in our classroom, when we want to give a reason, instruction or explanation or to correct something that had been said or done. What I would like to do today is to introduce you to the concept of the epic theatre. So you see the example? Here are a few more examples in front of you. This brings us to questions to check your progress. Starting with question number one, define the term emphasis. Question number two, give any two relevant examples using emphasis. Question number three, what are pseudo clef sentences? Question number four, when do we use what clause in sentences? Question number five, give any three examples of sentences using the what clause. I hope you'd refer to this presentation as well as the BA English Graduate Self-Learning Material or the SLM or Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 11, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners. Thank you.